This is question number four for the 2017 AP statistics test. The chemicals in clay used to make pottery can differ depending on the geographical region where the clay originated. Sometimes archaeologists use a chemical analysis of clay to help identify where a piece of pottery is from. Such an analysis measures the amount of chemical in the clay as a percent so the amount of chemical in the clay is a percent of the total weight of the piece of pottery. The box plot below, so this thing, summarize analysis is done for three chemicals, X, Y, and Z, on pieces of pottery that originated at the site 1, 2, or 3. So what this is saying, let's say you got, let's say you got some pieces of pottery from site 1. So you have this piece, you got this piece, and you got this piece from side one, and you can have much more. And first, you're going to look at what percent of the pottery is going to be chemical X, and you're going to see how the distribution of chemical X among those three, those three or more potteries come out to be, and you get this box plot, and you look at chemical Y for the same potteries, and you get this box plot, and you look at chemical Z, and you get this box plot, and you are repeating the process for sites 2 and 3, and these are the graphs that you obtain. What are the questions though? For chemical Z, describe how the percents found in the pieces of pottery are similar, and how they differ among the three sites. So that's chemical Z, that's chemical Z, and that's chemical Z. Well, if you look at it, how are they similar? The mean is about what? About the same? No, not the mean, the median. The median, the median is about the same. So median is about the same. About the same at what? At about 7%. So that's one similarity. Any other similarity? All of them looks what? About symmetric? So about symmetric. The box plot isn't more on one side. The box, the, the, this line separating two portions of the box isn't uh, more to one side than the other. It looks more symmetric in this case. So you got you have median is about the same and all all of them are about symmetric for the similarity and how about for the differences where there's lots of differences you can put I say range is the one that stands out to me right away so how they how they're spread out which one has the biggest range chemical Z does Z has the highest range and chemical no no not, not chemical Z side three has the highest range so side number three has the highest and sign number two has the lowest sign number two has the lowest so those are some of the things you can put for part a now let's look at part b consider a piece of pottery known to have originated at one of the three sites but the actual site is not known suppose the analysis of the clay reveals that the sum sum of the percent of the three chemicals x y and z is what 20.5 so based on the box plot, which site do we think is most likely this piece of pottery is from? Well, the one way one way of looking at this is summing up the center values or the estimates of the center values for the pottery for each of the sites. Like for like for site one, this is site one. You if you look at the median, you get you have about seven, you have about thirteen, and you have about seven. So if the if the pottery is from side one, you would expect the sum of the percents to be about seven plus thirteen plus seven or twenty seven percent. But that's that's kind of diverging from twenty point five percent. Now let's look at side two. For side two, you have about six percent. You have about seven percent. You have about three percent. Adding them up, you get sixteen percent. I don't know that that's closer than the one before. But let's look at the last one. You have about six percent. You have about seven percent. You have another one about seven percent. Adding them up, you get twenty percent. Hey, twenty percent is pretty pretty close to twenty point five. So I say site three, and the reason is, I would state the sum of the medians. Sum of the medians, four. For site 3, which is 20%, which is about 20%, is close, 
closest, closest. Oh, if I can spell it, C L O S E S T, closest to to twenty point five percent. So that's the reason. Now let's look at uh, part two of part B. Suppose only one chemical could be analyzed in the piece of pottery. Which chemical would be most useful in identifying where the piece of pottery is from? Justify your choice. If you look at this, let's say we are using chemical X. If we if we are using chemical X and you had you obtained about 6.2% and they are asking you which side it's from, it's gonna be pretty hard to identify. The reason is, if it's 6.2%, that looks like it may be from side 1, it may also be from side 2 since the box plot is containing it, and it may also be from side 3, so we're not too sure. So chemical X doesn't seem like a good choice. And same and similar reasoning for chemical Z. If you have about, let's say 8% for chemical Z, you know, uh, let's say 7% for chemical Z, then you, since all of the medians are about 7%, you are not gonna know which side it is from. But how about chemical Y? Well, chemical Y is pretty nice, because what? The, 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 the medians are what? Farther away at each side. So the medians diverge significantly, significantly for each Site for what? Chemical Y, for chemical Y. So if we have, if we, if the chemical level is about 13, you know it's likely from side one. If the chemical level for Y is about seven, you know it's likely from this one. And if the chemical, no, 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 not if, if it's seven, you know it's likely to be from this one. And if the chemical level is three-ish, you know it's likely for this one. And another nice thing is that spread is relatively small for chemical Y. So even if it is, so the box plots don't overlap as much. A actually for, for chemical Y they do not even overlap. So chemical Y is gonna be the best way to go.